Rumors state that because of Bigfoot's tall size, if you hide underneath a tree, Bigfoot may just not be able to see you. Oh my god, the tree just disappeared. It's... It's... It's too late for us! I gotta go! Ah! <laughs> Rumors of an odd creature living underneath of Marie's truck have caused Inklings and Octolings alike to begin doing what seems to be some kind of weird dance right in front of it. To this day, nobody knows what's causing it. Maybe somebody should ask? It seems like nobody bothers to do that, though. And thus, the circle continues. Conspiracy theorists will say that Nessie might have more than one form. How do we find out that information? Look at the form that Nessie seems to take in Ryder's post here. Long, wild in nature, being held back, perhaps, by a very familiar octoling. But we walk a few paces to the right here, and we see a completely different form of Nessie! One that seems to be able to use some kind of magical power? How are they so different? The only way is that obviously there must be more than one Nessie! Thank goodness I didn't join the Nessie team! Imagine having to be afraid of not one, but two creatures at the same time! Oh my goodness. They say the tallest of jellyfish will stand near the Bigfoot players because they want to show their support for maybe even more than one team at a time. I mean, come on! This jellyfish is on Team Nessie, but they're hanging out right next to a Bigfoot player. What's up with that? This has to be why. Marigold is but too relaxed during these Splatfests. Doesn't she know the threats? The threats of... The beg feet? <laughs> they say if you see a Team Aliens player looking down upon the plaza, it's already too late for you. You're going to be abducted. And when you are abducted, a simple thing will happen. The Team Alien player will walk up to their host and say, Hey. Hey. Are you on Team Alien? Are you on Team Alien? Are you on Team Alien? Art thou on Team Alien? Are you on Team Alien? Are you on Team Alien? And they will continue to ask that over and over and over again until you conform and join Team Alien. This is why there are so many Team Alien mirror matches. The conversion has been a success. Let's go. There's a rumor floating around on why Harmony is unaffected by the Splatfests. You would think, like many Inklings and Octolings, Harmony would feel the need to go outside, dance, and have a lovely time. But Harmony has a secret. And no, it's not that Harmony is in control of one of the shops and can give you so many wonderful things, like table turf cards. Did you realize that Harmony's colors right now are pink, green, and orange? Maybe she already knew that this was going to be one of the most popular color combinations for all Splatfests going into the future of Splatoon 3. And changing her look to match up with most of these Splatfests has led her to be able to do her job better than ever. Thank you, Harmony, for giving so much to capitalism. Some Inklings and Octolings have begun to spread a rumor that if you travel between Splatsville and Inkopolis during the Splatfest, you just might not make it back. They say this is the time where the aliens may strike and find you. But the only way to find out would be to hit yeah, right? I'm, I'm a little scared to do it, but I'm, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it right now! It's gonna await me on the other side. Oh my god! Guys, it was never the aliens that were real. Nessie was waiting for us the whole time. For real! It's been said that some Splatfests like this one bring about the resurgence of art of a strange species. Just look at this. They're talking about Bigfoot, but that's... That's not Bigfoot! I don't- I don't even know what that is! I don't think we'll ever be able to know what that is, but... It's been showing up more and more during this particular Splatfest. Maybe there's some kind of book out there that I could read to learn about this magnificent creature, but I, I don't even know where to start looking. 
If you know anything, you have to let me know, okay? On the other hand, this Team Bigfoot player here is sharing some information we all knew. That the teddy band was built to fit any creature's head, even ones as lovely and beautiful as Big Man. Yes, oh my goodness, this jellyfish found the one thing that isn't a conspiracy today. It's that trans rights are human rights! That's wild. Thank you, Jellyfish, for pointing out this super important information. Would you like to know the true target that the aliens are looking for? Because I know who it is. It's this particular jellyfish salesman right here. And why is it, you ask? Well, when, not if, but when the alien invasion comes, wouldn't it be good if the aliens knew that every single inkling and octoling and jellyfish and creature in general would be able to be controlled by the vibes of the Splatfest? This jellyfish right here might be vibing and having fun during the Splatfest, but have you noticed that he's not the correct color? If not every single inkling, octoling, jellyfish, and creature is able to be controlled truly by the Splatfest, someone could be able to break free from the glorious hold of the Splatfest vibes and find out that maybe the Splatfests might be being controlled by the aliens this whole time? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go. I made it maybe 20. 30 feet away from the shop, and immediately, there are team alien posts cropping up again. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe it. Don't think I'll be distracted by the team Bigfoot float coming through. I know the truth. In fact, I'm starting to realize. Did you ever think about how this walkway here is almost like the perfect landing strip for a ship? Imagine if Fry's little ship was the drop down right now, it'd be like an alien attack. All they would have to do is ride it in on this lane and just drop it on down right here. Just plop it on down. Fry, 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 fry. You have to know something, right? Please, please, fry. You, fry, no, please, fr please, fry. You, you, you have to, you have to listen to me, fry. I think there's something more going on in the Splatfest. Fry, fry, no. She's, she's too busy performing to realize what's going on. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the only one that knows. One of the scariest advantages that the Team Nessie team has is that they're able to swim in the water. Well, at, at least, at least Nessie is. But all it takes is a few inklings or octolings becoming stronger than their biology to be able to outplay any other player in the Splatlands. Do you think that after this Splatfest is over, we may begin to see an influx of players who appear to be cheating? But in reality, they're, they're not cheating. They've only been strengthened by Nessie. I've heard the training starts by Nessie telling Inklings and Octolings telepathically to begin going through as many grates as possible. Because after all, Inklings and Octolings can slip through grates. All they have to do is figure out how to get their molecules to slip through water. That's, that's the trick. Oh my God. All I had to do was be by these Team Nessie players. That's, that's all it took. Oh, I, I, I have to tell somebody, oh my God. I think they knew what I was thinking, and they've made me no longer be able to go through the grates. If I'm never seen again, tell my story. This isn't a conspiracy. I I'm just making you see the Splatfest post because I had to, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Why? There are rumors that some Inklings and Octolings out there might have just found the aliens. But there's no proof besides... Splatfest posts like these. If you choose to believe this, then we might be on to something super big. Please, let me know in the comments if you find any information about Team Aliens, Team Nessie, Team Bigfoot, or just Aliens, Nessie, and Bigfoot real. There's gotta be something out there, and we're here to crack the case.